Hello everyone, I'm John Tiplady, the maker of the Chalky Lawn Bowls Spray Marker. I want to talk to you today about a subject which is really, really important when we talked in another episode about your equipment and everything. Obviously the main thing that you'll be interested in is your lawn bowl, the bowl that you finally end up with. As it's an expensive investment, something like six or eight hundred dollars, um, it's something you need to take great care about. Now, over the history of the game, people have been inclined, all with the best of intentions, to give advice as to what bowl you, as a player, need. Very often they are wrong. One of the common tales I heard when I started playing was you've got to have the biggest bowl you can possibly carry and play with that. That is wrong. Everything you have must be tailored to your particular physique and capability. With bowls, bowl sizes range from a double O, which is about four and a half inches diameter, up to a size five, which is five inches. So they go up by diameter of an eighth of an inch in round terms until they get to size five, which is five inches. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you place your hand around a bowl, it, your fingers, even with only an eighth of an inch difference, will be in a different position gripping it. So, my view, and I found out the hard way, I started with size fours, I went to size threes, and then an expert actually watched me deliver and got me to roll a size two extra heavy. Now the three heavy that I had been playing with, which I, I loaned, I didn't own, um, was um, perfect for me, I thought, until he watched me. And I was wearing a short sleeve shirt at the time and all these muscles and veins and everything else, you could see the tension there. I wasn't aware of it. I was able to roll the bowl, same as I always had done. He taught me into getting a two extra heavy which rolls and has the same characteristics as a size three heavy. So that's what I'm stuck with now. This is the bowl that I play with. It's a Taylor Ace. You can call it an old fashioned bowl. It has a standard draw, what I call a standard draw, normal draw. Some people call it a wide draw. In other words, it has a very uh, exaggerated arc, if you like, when it, when it rolls around. Now, the grip is really important. So when you're holding a bowl, you should be able to just dangle your, your hand alongside your hip here. Just let it hang without squeezing hard and the bowl should be really, really comfortable. You don't need to be squeezing tight to hold it. Now with a bigger size bowl, this is a size four, so it's a quarter of an inch more diameter, which doesn't sound very much, but holding this, I have to squeeze. You'll see that the, the, the white on my thumb, where I'm having to squeeze to make sure I don't drop it. Now you don't need that. You must be at the point of delivery as comfortable as possible. You must be in control. Don't let the bowl control you, right? Now, it's a very, very important thing. You must try and try and try and test and test and find the bowl and the equipment, including shoes and whatever else, that is tailored to your comfort. The more comfortable you are in any sport that you play, the better you'll be at it, if you're enthusiastic enough, of course. Now, an additional thing is with grip. I'm a firm believer in using one of these uh, grip creams, bowls grip, doesn't have to be a particular brand, but it needs to be a good brand. You just smear a little bit onto your fingertips, and when it starts to tack off, which is very, very quick, you'll find that you use less and less finger pressure to hold the bowl. With a big bowl, you'll find, because it's not definitely suited to you, that instead of having your hand in this sort of position, a sort of a cradle, a cradle grip, you'll find you're having to move your thumb further and further over to the middle and that's not a desired position when you hold a bowl. It's better to have a bowl 
where the bowl like I have here, which suits my particular thing, it won't suit everybody, but it suits me, where my hand is comfortable, the bowl lays comfortable in there, and the, goal, the bowl can be released very, very nicely, smoothly, and hopefully on target. The direction is very, very important. So, when we get to these grips, there are two types. There's the cream, which is a sort of a bowl's grip, and these towels which are also very, very good. Um, they are impregnated with beeswax. And just by squeezing like that, in other words, it's non-messy, just squeezing like that leaves a slight residue on your hand and you pick your bowl up and it'll just, it'll just hang there. It doesn't leave mess on your clothes. You don't want it to stick like super glue, so you wind up with, the, with your bowl at the kitty. You want to stay on the mat. And this is the way to do it. Now these bowls here, as I said, are size fours. I have now a deposit of, of the um, uh, honey, uh, honey bee wax, and I can hold that comfortably now, even though it's really too big for me. So that's what you should bear in mind. Don't buy your bowls until you've found exactly the ones that you need. That way you're starting off on the right foot and you'll play much, much better than you could ever dream and hopefully win a lot of games. Enjoy your bowls.